So the next experiment will uh, switch over, we'll take this box of Lego, this is Lego Education um, uh, We Do 9580 kit, uh, comes with a motor, uh, so there's the motor and it has a connector, I'll plug that into the hub, and then we have USB, so there's the USB that goes into the XO. And so now the motor is connected to the XO. And let's just put something here so it becomes uh, visual. You can actually see it. So let's put a little stick there, a little green thing that shows a little bit of rotation. And oh, well, maybe you could. a fan on it. So there you go, a mini fan. So next what I'm going to do is we'll run Scratch. That's the one that looks like a cat. And you can find Scratch at scratch.mit.edu. Runs on Linux and Windows and Mac. It's a lot of fun. It doesn't have to be on the OLPC XO, but um, here we are running it on the XO. And the latest build, which is build 874, comes with all the drivers. In fact, at the lower left, um, let me zoom in here. There we go. You'll see that there are a bunch of blocks here which are all motor related and that's because uh, the drivers are in place and when you plug in the, the Lego motor, um, the drivers kick in and you get all the motor blocks. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is build a little bit of logic. So we'll say turn the motor on and run it at 100% and I'll go to the control tab and pull out a forever loop and so what we have here is turn the motor on uh, let's see zoom it in there we go turn the motor on and run it forever at 100% now what I could do is go into the sensing blocks and there's a block for loudness and I can take the loudness block out of there and move it and instead of saying the power will be 100 percent it will now be based on loudness which is a variable so what about the microphone senses as loudness is what the power level will be for this motor and so when we turn this on right here a couple of things will happen one is um, the motor will turn on and you'll see in the upper left corner there, uh, there is a LED that will light up. Let me zoom out a little. There we go. To show that the microphone is on. And here we go. So the LED is on. And you heard the motor come on for a bit. There it is. Not spinning. And that's because we are not loud enough. Are we now loud enough? Not enough. Well, if I move my finger, it perceives the loudness to be. So maybe the loudness needs a little bit of help. It needs to be uh, multiplied, maybe twice the loudness. So I'm going to go to the operators tab and pull out the multiplier. Let's take the loudness out, put the multiplier in and put loudness back in here. So now it says motor power is loudness times and we could say, oh, maybe two. So loudness will be twice. And there we go, run it. And so now this will be a lot more sensitive. Oh! So the louder you clap, the faster this will spin. So there you go, you can build all kinds of fun things by plugging in the microphone as an input and the motor becomes the output and it will spin. Now we could increase 
the loudness multiplier here um, make it say 5 and then it'll get more sensitive and spin faster now I wonder if it can detect my pulse through my thumb and actually spin in accordance that'll be another fun experiment so there you go